We've been through this at William Hill uh, probably for two years. What we was doing was pulling together all our, all our metric capabilities from application data, infrastructure data, uh, customer behaviour data, business data, even social media data, all into a, a one single place and then making sense of that. As humans, we're limited cognitively, whereas algorithms, you can look at millions of different rules and, and, and data sets. So mo moving forward, it's going to be relying a lot more on, on those algorithms to make, to make those decisions. AI will actually start to cluster those together and drill to real root cause of where the issues are and pinpoint the operators in the, in the right direction. So we treat our machine learning models just like code. So we push it out as code, it's treated exactly the same way. So that's the only way to get that continuous improvement going within your, within your result sets. So you don't just have a machine learning strategy and think that's it. You need to make sure you're constantly refining it and it, you know, it's, it evolves, you know, it is an evolving thing. If we went back even five years, um, companies would not be willing to even trust machines to, to start to make that, that decisional data now um, and those, those decisions. Um, I think times are changing now, so it's absolutely key that uh, you get visibility of all the pieces of the jigsaw before you start to make decisions on what can affect your, your critical business services. Um, otherwise, you, you're just trying to make decisions with, with pieces of the jigsaw missing. You don't see the full picture. and might not be a pretty sight for your business if you suddenly started self-healing things without knowing the full picture of that. Initially, you've got to let humans verify that until, until they're confident in the, in the technology and the algorithms that they're actually finding those patterns. You know, if you can get a 90% fit in, in that kind of data set, then we would allow that, allow that to go in, into production and allow the, allow the systems to automate that, that self-healing. So AI and machine learning can enable faster remediation to problems in, in quite a number of ways. Um, it can automate a reduction in your message volumes, so operators understand what the actual problem is rather than just being flooded by all, the, all these metrics we've traditionally had in the past. Um, it can proactively uh, identify root cause of, of problems through things like alert clustering and smarter correlation. Um, it can streamline collaboration um, and automate workflows across your teams. It can increase collaboration through the entire uh, SDLC software development lifecycle. It can help your um, uh, application teams, your product teams, to roll out and reduce the time to market a lot quicker. And I think finally it can sort of codify knowledge and, and help automate that, that shared learning across, across teams also. The first thing I would say is find something, a real important use case for the company. So at William Hill we picked um, game and uh, bonus abuse because it was Im impacting our bottom line revenue. So we went through a journey of trying to use machine learning and AI to predict when our customers were abusing the game. So if your, if your bet patterns changed, if your stake patterns changed, if, if the profile of you as a, as a user um, was different to what it was normally. Um, so we looked at a whole different uh, uh, scenarios of different metrics, different, different models. And, and don't be afraid to start again. We probably spent six to nine months looking at things. Think we thought we had it nailed and then something happened and we had, to, we had to go back to the drawing board. So finding the right metric candidate and machine learning model for your, for your use case is really important. And be tenacious about it. Don't, don't give up. You know, it's very much, you know, it, once you, if you stay on the path, you will come through the other end. Uh, and then you'll start to get that, you know, that culture in your organisation where people trust the technologies. I think say technologies can really help uh, as, a, as an organisation to move forward with machine learning and, and AI. I would say CA technology will be more a partner than a vendor moving forward. You know, if, if, if CA can provide us those capabilities out of the box, you know, you've already got application monitoring, infrastructure monitoring, you know, application experience, you know, synthetic monitoring, all the data is there. So I think vendors in a, a particular CA are in a really good position to help to push that forward.